We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Russell Ganagan here from Russell's Fishing Tech. Today I'm going to give you four tips that's going to make you a better fisherman in 2021. Uh, when fishing salmon and trout on the Great Lakes, the most important piece of electronics you can have is a speed and temp system, and that's why getting a speed and temp system is tip number one. Lots of people watching this video are already going to have a speed and temp system, and that's great. Uh, you're already ahead of the curve. But if you don't have a speed and temp system for your boat, it's literally the most important piece of electronics you can own for your boat. Um, this is a Fishhawk unit. That's the unit, uh, the different units we sell in our in our store here in Sheboygan at the Real Shot Sheboygan is the Fishhawk brand. If you're unfamiliar um, on what a, a speed and temp system is, I'm not going to go into details on it today. But you can go on my YouTube page, Russell's Fishing Tech. I've got a video that explains the different models and what they do from the Fishhawk speed and temp system. Uh, tip number two: use quality line and terminal tackle, snap swivels absolutely critical can't tell you how many customers i run into that have an eighty thousand dollar boat an eighty thousand dollar truck uh you know thousand dollar fish hawk system five thousand dollars in electronics rods reels lures the whole shebang and they got a 29 cent walmart swivel on the end of their line and that ends up being the failure of them catching a career giant lifetime king salmon don't do it um we only pretty much sell torpedo uh, swivels here at the Real Shot in Sheboygan. I'm not sponsored by Torpedo. Uh, their margins aren't better than everybody else. I specifically sell that brand for one reason and one reason only. They make the best swivels that I've found so far out in the market. And if I find a better one, we'll be selling that one. Um, they have a unique design. The hook on them hooks over the top of a middle bar instead of around the side in a standard cross lock type swivel like the other brands out there. And when a fish shakes its head side to side, uh, he can easily open that uh, cross lock type swivel, but he can't open the one that goes over the top. That's the reason that I like the torpedo swivels better. As far as line goes, for 20 some years now, I've been using Andy monofilament. It's the only line that I use. About 10 or 12 years ago, myself and my fishing partner at the time, Jay Torkey, it might even be 15 years ago now, did a monofilament test and we ran other brands out there like Big Game and some of the other P line, I think had a monofilament out at that time. And Andy was the only one that held up uh, to the abuse that we give uh, monofilament line here out on Lake Michigan. So we're using Andy in any position where we're using mono for either a main line or a leader. That's the only brand that I would recommend that you use. Number three, uh, this is a good one, networking. Um, you should be networking with friends, uh, try to network with charter captains, try to network with uh, tournament fishermen, anybody that you can possibly get to be friends with. You should try to do that. And also nowadays with the internet, it is so easy to network. There's great pages on Facebook, like the Port Washington Fishing Reports page, Sheboygan, Two Rivers, um, wherever you fish around Lake Michigan, Lake Ontario, Lake Huron, I guarantee you there's a page on Facebook where you can get on and network with friends on what's going on in the water up to the minute, uh, but for sure that week or that day. Uh, one of the things that drives me nuts is I fish with a lot of people over the years, friends, family, um, tournament fishermen, uh, charter captains, and I can't tell you how many times we've been heading out of the, the harbor area, idling out, getting ready to go, and there's conversation going back as we're heading out on where we're going to start and what we're going to set up with. Don't do that. Uh, spend your time before you go out and get a game plan put together. Before you even hook up your boat and leave your house, you should already have a game plan. I know I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with this rod, these rods, these baits on these rods, and if that doesn't work, my plan B is this. That's the way it should be. Spend your time preparing so you can catch more fish when you're out on the water. And my last tip is the proper tackle is critical. And this is a tough one. This isn't one that I can just be like, use this or use that. Um, but I'll give you an example, like our salmon candy line here that we sell at the Real Shop, both stores and on the website. You know, having the right meters. Not everybody knows what materials to use to make the right fly leaders, the right hook, the right beads, the right length. Um, but, but the right tackle is critical. One of the things I see the most here in the store, when I have customers come in and they'll say to me, Russell, I'm really struggling. Um, I'm not catching fish like the other guys. What's wrong? I'll have them bring their boat in. We'll look at their boat. We'll look at their setup. We'll look at the rods and reels. And a lot of the time, what I find is they have all that stuff. 
and then I'll jump into their tackle and they're using tackle from the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s. And unfortunately, it's just part of the game. Um, the tackle evolves, the stuff gets better, and the way we fish gets, gets better, more technological. Um, and we're able to catch more fish because of it. But if you get left behind uh, and don't have the right, right tackle, you're not going to catch as many fish as everybody else. And I'll give you an example of that, just you know, a simple example. Last year, these two flashers, the chrome stud and the blue stud by Salmon Candy, were absolutely red hot in the entire Wisconsin side of Lake Michigan. I've mentioned it before in other videos. I can't tell you how many uh, customers I had come in last year and said to me, man, I'm struggling. I'm not catching any, as many kings as I'd like or any kings. Uh, I'm fishing flasher flies. I'm fishing spoons. I'm fishing this, that. And I'd hand them just one of these each or whatever. And I'd say, you know, put this one on a 200 copper and put this one on a wire dipsy out 150. They'd go out and sure enough, I'd get a, a, a Facebook message, a text message, a call to the store uh, later that afternoon or the next day with a picture with a big smile and a big salmon. And they'd say, you were right, Russell, put that in that exact rod, caught, caught a couple big kings. Having the right tackle is critical. Make a good relationship with your local tackle store, or again, use your networking system. Uh, pages like those Port Washington pages, uh, Sheboygan page, or any page that you're on to find out what guys are having success with. And of course, you can always contact me anytime, I'm more than willing to help. So that is four tips that are gonna help you be a better salmon fisherman in 2021. Good luck fishing.